Affinity Photo 2.3, as well as Designer 2.3, as a new feature. It's got a move duplicate panel that also now includes scale. And also it's live, so you can modify various settings without losing the panel. And that's really useful. So how to get the panel in the first place? Select the move tool, then go select an object. And with that, press return or enter on the keyboard. So it's return or enter, and you get this panel pop up. You can also set this. This is really useful. Enable transform origin. By default, it's generally at the center of the object. So you can turn it off, turn it on. You can see this little blue little transform origin. And you can move it, and it's still live with this. So you can just simply just drag it over to different positions. And anything you change with the scale or any of the other settings will use this. So let's just create a scale. This time, I can just drag. and You can see it just drags off to that. If I move it to the center there, it will scale center. Also, I can drag it to here. You can drag it anywhere. Also, what you can do, you can use this with two or three or 10. So you can create another one, hold down the alter option key, create multiple copies, select multiple copies like that. Again, press return or enter on the keyboard. And again, you can do scale. Now you can see you've got the transform origin around that, and again, I can reposition it. So I just position it there. And again, just scale it, and you can see as it does, it scales off, and you can make it 240 and zoom out, zoom in. But also what you can do is you can go here and you can set the scale with number of copies. So number of copies, I'm just going to go duplicate, make certain that's active, and then number of copies, and you can see then you get this effect. And again, just 16, say. You can change it, of course. You don't have to go with 16. You can also go with scale. You can change that, and you can zoom it off towards that. Again, you can modify that position. Now, unfortunately, it's a lot live when you're updating it. So if you just position it there and then release, then it will appear. You can drag it over there and release, and it appears. And you can do that repeatedly. Just reposition it like that. But the scale means you can just change it. But also, you can also change these as well, horizontal. So you can see you can change that as well as the scale. So you've got it going off very, very small. And it's still using this. So you can then select here, reposition it, and you can see you get a different result depending on the settings here as well as the origin point. But also what you can do, you've got this. You can change the colour. Well, how to change the colour at this point? Because it's a group, you can't. But if it was a single object, let's just close that. And let's just remove that. Unfortunately, with multiple, it just doesn't display that. But with that, again, press return or enter. you got this thing and you can scale it. And again, you can move this. You can also then duplicate. And again, number of copies. And then you can change the scale. So again, you can see it's zoomed off. But in this case, because it's got its tool here, you can click here. And you can then change it, maybe change the color to purple or pink. Also, you can change this, the stroke. So you decide, you know what, I don't want that color. I want, say, blue or pink. Or you could use a gradient, so select that. Now, it seems to be a problem occasionally. That does seem to suddenly glitch. Gradients cause it an issue, so just remove that. Again. Use another one. Let's just go for, say, a diamond. So a diamond tool. Again, you can reposition this. You can do it here or in the panel. So press return or enter again. And now again, scale. And you can see as I scale there, set a duplicate number of copies, and you can see it zooming off there. Now you can also go with insert. You can go that way or that way. Up to you. Quite useful as well. Also, you can go over here. And you can change the stroke, colour, but you can also change this, the stroke width. So you can just reduce it down, and you can see the result of that. And you can see then, you can make nice thin lines like that. You can also go here, change the pressure. So just change the pressure, and you can see you can create a variety of different designs by changing the pressure, and that will be modified across the entire design. Also, you can always go here, click this, and now you got a dash design, dot dash design. If you start with a design like this, well, what you can do, again, press return or enter, and now again, change the scale. 
Also go to duplicate and you can see number of copies. And again, you can change that. You can obviously reduce that or increase it, number of copies. And you can see you can create design like that. That's using the circle. I think a circle in many ways is better than maybe a diamond design for that. But you can also modify, of course, the horizontal so you can go off that direction or vertical go that direction. Also, you can change the angle or rotation. And that will create, obviously, a different number of designs using that. Also, you can create that all the way down, but you can still continue to modify these. So you just go over here and you can change the width or you can go maybe slightly smaller, maybe go down here and change these settings. And you see, as you change it, that will change, that will change, and so on. And of course, you've got three options there across, as well as the phase. So you can set that, modify the setting, maybe make it 12 or whatever. You can tweak it in many different ways. Just drag and change. So two. Also, with this design, you can then click OK and you can see what happens. It generates all these ellipses. That's all it is. It creates multiple layers with that design. And of course, what you can do, you can then select any of these ellipses and just move them. So select that one and you can just then drag that or maybe decide, oh, let's just change the colour. So go for green there. Now, unfortunately, you can't create a design that's repeating different colours. That would be a brilliant feature. That feature does not seem to be there. There's no randomization colour feature. I would love to see that with this tool. You can also use it with other designs such as a line. So press return or enter again and you've got scale. So again, you can just reduce it down and that will scale the line. You again, you can move the position the origin and again, use the scale. Now you'll notice it always sets it back. So you can now zoom it off that way. But exactly the same as before, you can turn around and say, oh, duplicate, number of copies. So let's just increase the number of copies. And again, maybe just change the scale so it's not that number of copies. So you can get a lovely line design that goes off to a certain central point there, transform origin. And again, you can still move this around. So if you want, you can get it going off that direction or maybe drag it further or maybe drag it that way. Now, unfortunately, if you go and select one of these other tools, it doesn't work. Now, what would be brilliant would be if it was still live then. So if you just go over here and select, say, that pen tool and go to no tool, unfortunately, it disappears. Hopefully, maybe in a future version, they might actually have that active as well. But you can see you can create a variety of different designs just with a very basic line. And you've still got the options here for duplicate, number of copies, rotation. So you can see you've got rotation there. And again, you can reposition that reposition it that, and also changing the scale so you can make that go smaller or bigger as well. So again, just dragging off in that direction or changing the horizontal as well as vertical. You can also use the feature with type. So artistic text tool, so select that, create some type, and I'm just gonna go with word type. And with the move tool selected, again, you've got this origin point, you can set that on or off depending on this up here. And you can reposition it so you can put it there. Again, press return or enter on the keyboard. And you can change the duplicate, number of copies. You can also change the scale. So just reduce, as you reduce it down, you see it zooms off. And again, it's live so you can move it and reposition it to create all kinds of different type effects as well. Now, unfortunately, there's no random color feature. That would be brilliant. And there's also other things that would be absolutely amazing if they added to this. But you can see you've got access to this as well. So click here and you can change the color. So if you decide you don't want that color, you can change that. Now, unfortunately, there's no feature for adding an outline. So what you can do, you can go over here and select the shape, but then of course you lose that. But you can always add the outline via this. So you can always use that. So go to effects, click, and then with bevel emboss, you can set that on. Maybe go for 3D, maybe go for outer shadow. So outer shadow, set the radius, offset, intensity, etc. You can see the design there. Click close. And again, press return. And you can do exactly the same. So duplicate, number of copies, just increase that. Also change the scale. And you can see again, that will zoom off to that central point, which again, you can move around and reposition. And 
create interesting type designs using that. And there's probably many other ways of using this wonderful new move duplicate with scale. Once you're finished, click OK. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.